Instagram star Dan Thor is worried. He's after pigeons with his friend Rob on a farm in Essex, but the come. pigeons didn't get the invitation. Him coming out there and across. That's all we asked for. So yeah, Thursday night, we, we just come home from work and I thought like, we better come and have a look at the field here because I noticed the flight line appearing. There is quite a few people who shoot this farm, so it's been nice. It's actually been rested for a few weeks, so that's probably why the birds have started coming back slowly. Um, noticed a nice little flight line coming out of there from the town, pulling across the barley, so yeah, we, we thought we'd uh, give it a go, but at the moment, it doesn't seem much about, but they started appearing about two o'clock, three o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday, and it was a nice constant line streaming backwards and forwards. Dan is picking up the odd bird, but they're passing by rather than coming into the decoys. We're on a stubble barley field today, and just behind us is a bean field. Behind the back of the bean field here, there's three or four rate fields that were drilled about three weeks ago. So uh, this is a good time now to get on top of the numbers. And um, so later on in the season, obviously they won't tear the rape up too much. And the farmers kindly asked us to come out today and see what we can do. But the numbers have been dreadful this year. We, we've hardly seen a bird in the area. But uh, Thursday started seeing a nice little flight line appear from here. So yeah, we're gonna see if we can get a few shots off. Got the wind coming through on our back and Enforce the decoys out there, slight little horseshoe shapes, hopefully it should pull them in and we can get cracking from there. I usually like to go back to the old school day and just use decoys to start off with, but seeing the flight line, I thought I'd put the whirly out today, try and pull them if they are to the left or to the right a bit more, but um, once the birds start flying around, we can, we can uh, see the situation go from there again. Them two birds come across here a minute ago for shots, yeah. isn't it? The one coming yeah. through, the one come back at this side. Like this. Top of, top of They're just pushing to the left-hand side. Perhaps we can, we'll push the pattern a bit further up to the right and hopefully that'll just deter them to come this way a bit more. Two here, Rob, two here to the left. Dan and Rob take turns shooting. They decide it's the safest way with two shooters in the hide. Oh, good recovery. Well done, well done. Dan has brought two guns with him today. He has a lovely Browning 525 Exquisite, ideal for pigeons and game. And he's also brought the Maruku MK38 he uses on clays. That's because he's using steel shot cartridges today. And the Maruku is proofed for the heavier loads he'll need for longer range birds. I've got a falconer guy that, that takes all my birds. So he usually takes 50 or 60 off me at a time. Uh, Rob obviously wants some for himself. I've got a guy who's got a few ferrets which, which takes them off me, but you know, I, I usually like to just shoot the amount I can get rid of. I, you know, if I can't, then I, I won't shoot no more. To get rid of them after shooting them still, yeah, because obviously you can't feed falcons with lead. Um, food consumption for me and Rob, it doesn't bother me what I shoot them with, but um, when it does come to the bird of prey, it's still, that's, that's what they want them shot with. Birds are coming across here now nicely. I find that they, they kill fine. I mean, today we're using the ultimate steel today. They're, I think they're 32-4. They kill them, they kill them pretty nice. A bit like lead, really. If you hit them in the right place, they're gonna drop. Uh, they've also got a 30 gram five, which is a little bit lighter, but um, yeah, sticking with them ones, they, they do the job for me. Going up to the four, you do pack a bit more of a punch. Um, and the good thing as well, it's got a bio wad in there, so you're not spraying the plastic wads everywhere and, and, and littering the place. So that's, that's one good thing about them as well. Hmm. <laughs> what you got there? We always go to Doritons when we're at work, so we invented this new one of chicken brie, tomato salad and cranberry. It's delicious. And they're actually going to be putting on the counter, apparently. I think we need to take a percentage out of that. We're starting to build a bag, but Dan knows we could do better. <sighs> that line was straight through these trees yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. Straight through here. And for two days, and that, that, that wind's just pushed them off a bit. I'll probably just stick the flapper out there now because we're getting a few birds coming past us on our left. So hopefully we're going to try and just pull them this way a bit more. This wind's so strong today. So um, yeah, well, we'll see how that goes. If not, we might have to move high and just pull ourselves around that corner and see if we can take them on that rape. That's running over there to the left. That'll do us just here. That's right. We'll see if we can just try and pull these birds this way a bit more. Hopefully now it might, might change it up a little bit. If not, back out there to the drawing board. It might turn on at two o'clock. <laughs> As usual, Dan's wearing jackpike clothing. 
He's particularly pleased with his new fleece gilet. Yeah, they've got the new barley gilet out, which has literally just come out, and a lot of people have, uh, are admiring the colour, which is which is nice, really. It goes with everything, I guess. So whether you're out in the town, shooting, walking your dog, it's just a really nice colour. Um, obviously, under there, we've got their digicam top. It's been quite warm, hasn't it, recently? I mean, we've had all like 40 degrees and 30s and late 20s and, and all week has been pretty nice. But I asked for a small bit of wind this week and it's like a bloody hurricane up here today. So we've got a few layers on just to keep it a little bit warm today. These birds are coming out from in front of us. There's a few going this way, but a lot of them are coming across around the back of that field there. We've only got another hour till three, another hour. It's nice to see these birds coming around now. Look at this. Dead. I can't work out what you call these. For catchers? It's a for catcher roll, yeah. roll or something, but it's uh yeah, it's stunning. Oh. This is this is a tree evolution homemade one from Dr. Dorton's. And we have brie, chicken, lettuce, tomato, and cranberry, and it is mwah. And James, here comes your pigeon. They're just not what I call committing, are they? There is birds everywhere though when you look now. They're flying all over the shop. I don't know whether to, for the fact the rotary at the back, just leave the flapper in here with these birds and see if they draw in better that way. Try that. Right, come with me, Rob, let's try that. And the birds that come from the back here, we might be able to get a shot at. I'll try that. The way they're skitting in that wind and dancing around is nice. It's lovely. That's what I love about the pigeon shed. Don't come, nothing comes straight, does it? It's always jittering and turning. If we could have them coming like that now, just for a little bit longer, we'll be laughing. I knew they would come. I just had this for as I kept saying all day, 3 p.m. Eventually started to come and yeah, it ended up being a great day. The flight line wasn't consistent. It was all over the place. We had sort of birds on the right to the left coming down straight at us. I mean, behind us, there was plenty. By four o'clock, they were flying everywhere. And um, we, we eventually managed to pull plenty in. And we had a flapper and decoys out to, out to the front of us. And then we decided to pull the uh, rotary to the back, which helped a lot. Um, and yeah, like I just say, it ended up being a perfect day. Good shot, well done, well done. Good shot, lovely shot. Shot, Dan. Yeah, two more shots, Rob, and we'll call that it. Yeah, right. Picked 45. Rob's going to come back later with his dog. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to find a few more up the hedgerow there, so probably around the 50 mark. But that, that to me is a perfect little day. It's, it's not all about numbers. Um, it's about coming out and joining it with your friends and, and obviously the, the crop protection. And obviously the field that we're shooting here to our left was a freshly planted rape. Obviously, I'm not going to hurt that at the moment, but um, what we've done today will just prevent that a little bit later on in the year. For Browning and Maruku's shotguns, visit browning.eu and for Jack Pike clothing, see jackpike.co.uk. And for all of it, you can find it on Kitfinder. <laughs>